Hello everybody. So for this video, I'm going to be going over how to create a chain link, chain link fence. And by doing that, I'm going to go over the wireframe modifier. So I'm going to shift A, add a plane. I'm going to scale it up, control A, apply my scale, go into edit mode. And then with face mode selected, I'm going to right click, subdivide, and I'm just going to do 10. I don't need too many. And once that's done, I'm going to select everything, right click, make sure I am in face select mode, right click, poke faces. And as you can see, it triangulated and put vertices in the center of all of these faces. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go tries to quads. As you can see, I've now got this effect going on right here. So what good does this do me? Well, if I come over here back into object mode and I go to add modifier, I'm going to come down to the wireframe modifier and you'll see very quickly how useful this tool can be. So if I up the thickness of this, as you can see, I am creating geometry based upon the edges inside of my mesh. And if you don't like this open siding right here, what you can always do is you can come over here and turn on boundary and it will complete the face into a quad meshed area. So if I go into wireframe now, as you can see, all these objects are properly quad meshed and I have a nice shape. So what good does this do me? Well, fairly simply, I could create a chain link fence out of this. I can scale this up and I can also create like grates, meshes, anything like that while keeping a relatively low poly count. So this is incredibly useful for this kind of thing. I can also come over here and start adding different modifiers to this. So if I add an array modifier, I can up the count and very quickly I can create an entire chain link fence. Now let's say I want this to wrap around in a circle. Well. I can go to add another modifier, curve, and if I come over here to my curves, let's add a circle. I'm going to scale this up relatively large. I'm going to select this and scroll down underneath, down to the bottom of my tools or my modifiers tab. Now I have the curve modifier. If I select this, boom, there we go. Cool thing about this. I can increase the amount I have here. And then I can scale this base plate up, up or down. And I can get a relatively decent rounded object right here. So hope that was useful. Hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you want to learn anything else. There's plenty of cool things that you can do with these modifiers, and I would be more than happy to share what I know.